So yesterday we got a update from People Can Fly regarding Outriders. They dropped a reddit post talking about the near future what's happening and a few different changes in respect to how they're going to approach the community. So let's get into it people. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. So yesterday on reddit they dropped another post in regards to a few things they're going to speak about in the near future in regards to damage reduction and survivability mechanics, legendary drop rates, balancing and so much more so we're going to get into it right here right now. Okay so let's start with hello everyone. Before we get into today's news I want to touch on the community news scheduling. We've been active in the community every single week since long before launch already but we've never properly outlined specifically when you should be able to expect news by which is left to confusion on occasion. To make it perfectly clear. For the foreseeable future we aim to provide news in the form of a thread such as this one every Thursday as a minimum. They state they will be active in these threads and will provide responses on perhaps short news updates on other days so please do treat the Thursday dev news check-in simply as the main but not exclusive touch point for when you can next expect to hear something significant. That might be news of a patch release or a larger discussion as to what is currently going on. This outline scheduling is uh, just for community news and patches may still release on a Tuesday or other day in certain weeks. Our social channels will now also slowly start sharing more fun game dev unrelated posts on non dev news days as we also want to celebrate the community a bit more. If you have any fun or interesting content you are keen to see let us know. So let's get into it. First things first, we have not done a good enough job of explaining or surfacing certain mechanics and decisions in the game to players. To that end, I am planning to, over the coming weeks, create a series of threads that will shred a bit more light on how certain systems are designed to work in Outriders. I'll also make sure that these threads are shared via the in-game newscast system so you won't miss them. My hope is that a more uh, widespread and better understanding of these mechanics will make the game more fun to you, but will also help us identify key pain points more accurately. A few initial focuses for future discussions. Damage reduction and survivability mechanics. Outriders has a number of mechanics including shields, armor resistance, spike damage, protection and health gate and more that all work together to calculate how squishy or tanky your particular character is in the face of certain damage. However, as mentioned above and observed in a few discussions recently, these mechanics are not 100% clear and in some cases e.g. spike damage protection slash death protection and invincibility are secret mechanics with hidden cooldowns. Understanding these mechanics is a key aspect of understanding damage mitigation or one shot kill instances and related issues. They then talk about legendary drop rates. We're aware that some players are unhappy with legendary drop rates as they currently are. This is a topic that across various game modes and difficulty level includes many layers and further questions. To that end, we're planning to share more information about legendary drop rates and mechanics in the future to help you understand the system a bit better and to help make your farming more targeted and less frustrating. So does that mean there's actually uh, instances in place where maybe certain legendaries are tied to certain things? I mean many tests have been done by the community already, I myself, and I found absolutely nothing tied to nowhere. But hey, a little more light on this would be greatly appreciated. Note that this is just an initial step regarding this matter, but it is required for us to make informed choices. Balancing. I actually wrote a good 3400 word draft for a thread about balancing in the week following our bullet build rebalance to respond to the concerns raised by the community at the time. This thread explained how we wanted to go about balancing, while the bullet build changes were necessary and included a frequently asked questions to answer just about every balancing design question you had and have. For instance, why were there only nerfs slash why is balancing even required? Which players do we look at when considering balancing plus many more questions? It also talked about the difficulty and learning curve that we had in mind when designing Outriders and Expeditions in particular. However, the subsequent issues around inventory restoration and damage mitigation made such a thread quite out of touch to post at the time. I'm hoping to be able to revisit this draft and share a more current version of it in the future to help better explain our initial vision around balancing. Regarding future balancing, we first want to see how things shake up regarding our latest patch. Since damage mitigation issues or malfunctioning mods could push the meta in certain directions, not because something is unbalanced but because players might not have been finding certain aspects of play reliable enough to use consistently 
and yes, we'd want to focus primarily on buffs, not nerfs. Extra notes, next patch. Our next patch is currently undergoing testing, with the intent to release in the later half of next week. We'll confirm this next week when testing wraps up. We will share specific patch notes with its release. We know that our previous patch took uncomfortably long to release, but we do hope to be able to be patching the game much more frequently now. Player Appreciation Package This is currently undergoing testing and will share more news around this as soon as we have a confirmed go live date. The tech for this package is based on the restoration script we used, but needed additional coding as we are for example attempting to ensure that players would only receive a legendary weapon that they previously did not obtain. Now I'm missing actually 4, I seriously need the shotgun or is it the animoir with the uh, morning winds mod? Knowing my luck I'll probably get the lucky, one of the other legendaries I ain't got. Then talk about known issues and issues being investigated. Trolls kicking other players at the end of expeditions, this to me is absolutely unacceptable. An upcoming patch will implement a feature that prevents players from engaging in this antisocial behaviour. Signing issues, our latest patch implemented additional telemetry which uh, will give us a better insight into the specific issues certain players might be facing. This telemetry will help us understand at what specific point of the process the sign in for these players fails. Multiplayer connectivity issues related to rubber banding and lag. An upcoming patch will implement better region based matchmaking in order to improve the quality of connections players experience in multiplayer. This may lead to an initial longer wait for matchmaking to connect but the sessions should then be better of a better quality. Players from different regions may still be matched after a certain period of time has passed. We will continue to work on improving the multiplayer experience beyond this change as well. So please treat this as just one of an ongoing series of steps to improve this experience. Crashes and memory leaks. Upcoming patches will continue to address occurrences of these and improve the overall stability of the game. They then talk about specific bugs. Not one. This is not an exhaustive list of things being worked upon. This is also not a list of patch notes for the next patch. Upcoming patches will address issues that may not be listed here. The team are currently also going through our database to identify and prioritise or freshly investigate issues that, as requested, were raised in the previous patch thread. Note 2. Investigate means that we have been able to successfully reproduce an issue on our dev environment and are currently looking at a root cause of said issue. If we have not yet been able to reproduce a specific issue, it may not be listed here, but that doesn't mean we're unaware of it. All items be marked as new when entering a new gameplay session. This pisses me off people unbelievably. Issue identified and will be resolved in a future patch. Tricks to movement impeded when using cyclone skill and being stunned. Yep, I get this all the time. Issue identified and will be resolved in a future patch. House ranger items not appearing for players on the epic store. Again, been identified and will be resolved. Certain mods not working in particular when you are the client during multiplayer sessions. This is currently being investigated as it may be related to specific latency thresholds. This may be a part of the above mentioned bigger multiplayer connectivity issues investigation. Scrap grenade mod stops working after cutscenes. Yes, I get this, absolutely annoying. Weapon mods Ravenous Locust does not deal damage if used together with the weightlessness mod. Again being investigated. Players dying while the shield is active. Yep, I get this all the time. Issue currently being investigated rather than shields not properly migrating damage. This issue may be caused by either the UI not catching up properly or it may be a case of certain shield mods continuing to proc their shield after death has occurred under certain edge cases. And they give an example there. Trick says Hunt the Prey does not turn player towards an enemy's back if aiming down sights immediately after activation. This is being investigated. Devastator's gravity jump can cause a client to get stuck being investigated. Devastator's statue set bonus ends after 8 seconds, which is not stated in the description. This is being investigated. Technomancer's Boreas set bonus is not applying properly, being investigated. Pyromancer's Feed of Flame skill may not properly proc Ash affecting multiplayer, being investigated. Revive functionality not working as intended during multiplayer sessions with high latency packet loss, investigated. Journal entries, pickups not uh, appearing on secondary characters, investigated. Damage blocks that on expeditions resort screen occasionally appears inconsistently or abnormally low. Again guys, this has been investigated. So yes guys, quite the thread, not gonna lie. And this is probably the biggest one we've had so far and it's kind of out of the blue, uh, which is weird. I mean, it kind of gives me the impression that they're actually focused on the future of the game. They want to be more transparent with us. Could this mean that there's, uh, they've got something planned for the future? 
they don't want the game dying maybe they want to revive it a little i mean i'm getting all kinds of things uh, from this so yes hopefully it means the future will be a little bright because at the moment guys this game is let's not lie to ourselves it's pretty much dead there's just nothing to do here and with the many problems it's keeping many people from playing too. So yes it seems as though they actually want the best for the future of the game which wasn't apparent to me. I thought they just wanted it done fixed so everyone could play it and I'd move on from it but from this and what I'm seeing it seems as though they want to interact with us more which is a great great thing. But yes let me know your opinions down below in that comment section guys. If any other posts or news drops regarding the game you know I have you covered right here on my channel. I'm not gonna lie I would have brought this video yesterday but to be honest um, Outriders ain't very popular at the minute. So I didn't rush to do this. But probably from now on I might just do that. But yes guys I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like it really helps. Uh, if you're new around here and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.